In this video, I'm going to take you through a beginner's guide of how to set up your Ledger Nano X to safely secure your crypto assets. If you're serious about crypto and being in control of your assets, Ledger can be a great solution. When you own crypto, what you really own is a private key which you need to keep safe. With Ledger, this is stored offline and away from any potential harm with just you in the driver's seat. Ledger was founded in 2014 and has been a leader in crypto security. However, some users didn't like the clunky buttons at the top of the device or the fact they could only install a couple of applications at once. However, fast forward seven years, and Ledger is now serving clients in over 165 countries and sold over 1.5 million wallets. Plus, they've now upped their game with the Ledger Nano X, allowing you to install up to 100 crypto applications at the same time, and with more than 1,500 coins and tokens supported, including the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP and Litecoin. And with your Nano X, you can secure, buy, sell and exchange anywhere you go. Before we get started, please just ensure that when you're buying your hardware devices, that you're doing so from official websites. And also ensure that your devices come in their original packaging so that they've not been tampered with. And I'll put some links in the summary below for these, and they do regularly run promotions, which may vary depending on the time that you're watching this video. So please be sure to check out my website, everybithelps.co.uk for the latest offers. First up, let's take a look at the device itself, which is changed with buttons on the front of the device as opposed to the top. And we'll take a look at what the different buttons do shortly once we've set up the device. And there's a few different ways that you can set it up. Now I'm going to be showing you via Ledger Live and the device, and then I'll show you how to pair your device with the mobile app, and that's using Bluetooth. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect up my device, which I'm going to do via the cable that's provided. And my ledger then powers up and asks me to press the button on the right. And your device will then prompt you to download Ledger Live. So if I just open up a browser and navigate to ledger.com slash start. And step one here is to get the Ledger Live app, which you can install onto Windows, Mac or Linux, for example. And it also provides links for your mobile devices, such as the App Store, like I said, I'll show you that shortly. Once that's installed, and get started here. And you'll then need to accept some terms and agreements and some important information with regards to your recovery phrase. And you then need to select your device, and obviously I've got the Ledger Nano X. I'm then asked if it's my first time, and if I want to create a new account, or whether or not I'm restoring from recovery. And obviously this is a brand new device, so I'm going to be creating a new account. As it states, you'll need a private key to access your crypto assets and to manage them. And your private keys are stored on your device with only you having access. So let's go ahead and start the setup. And this section will take a little bit of time and you'll need to grab a pen and paper, which I'm just going to go ahead and do now. So it's telling me to connect up my Ledger device and I've already got that hooked up, so that's fine. I'm gonna press the button to the right where it's now letting me know some information. You'll need to press the left and right button to browse through the menu and lists. Press both buttons to validate or confirm an action. And press and hold both buttons to access the settings or to power it off. And it states that we can start Ledger Live to get assistance. So we want to set up as a new device. And we're going to confirm that by pressing down both buttons at the same time. We then need to set up a pin code, which is going to be between four and eight digits. And then we need to press both buttons to confirm. Then use the left for numbers that are descending and the right button for ascending. When you reach the tick, it means that you can finish there, or you can proceed to eight digits. And then press onto both buttons to confirm your pin. Now the next job is something that takes a little bit of time, as we'll need to write down our recovery phrase. 
And that's a list of 24 words that you need to write down in the correct order and you need to spell it correctly too. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my 24 words now. And obviously when you're writing down those words, just ensure that there's no one else around you. Then once you've written this down, you can press the left to verify, then press both buttons to continue. So once you've confirmed all 24 words, it will then say that it's processing and it'll let you know once the device is ready. And from here, you can now access the dashboard. But let's head back to the computer. So now that you've got that 24 word recovery phrase, you'll need to keep that somewhere really safe. If someone gets access to these words, they then have full control and access over your crypto. Also consider breaking up the words into several pieces of paper and keep them in different locations. In this way, when you then bring the words together, they then form your 24 word recovery phrase. Okay, so now that that's all done, next your ledger can check to see whether or not your device is actually genuine. So let's check my Nano and you'll then be prompted to allow Ledger Manager. So we'll confirm that. And the good news here is that my device is genuine and it's ready to use. And then go back to my device where it's now asking me to install apps. And I'm prompted to use Ledger Live to do that, so I'm going to head back to my laptop. And if I head across to the manager, in here you can update your firmware. So if, for example, your device has been sat in a box for a while, it may need to be updated. So just update that to ensure that you have the latest version. And once that's done, you can then start to install your apps. Now I'm going to install Bitcoin for now. And over on my device, it's now letting me know that that's processing. And once it's installed, it will then show up on your device and you'll be prompted to add your Bitcoin account next. So if we manage my accounts and make sure that you've got Bitcoin selected, you'll then be prompted to open your Bitcoin app on your device, which you can do by pressing both buttons here. Now I actually had a problem the first time I did this. However, I retried and it was fine. If I now go ahead and add my account, and if I then click onto it, I can then either choose to buy or receive. So if you don't already have any and you want to buy some crypto from their site, you can do so using a third party. Or I can head back to accounts and then you can receive. So if I click on to continue, it will then display your receive address and it will also show you your QR code. And the address will also show up on your device screen, which you're going to need to verify and approve. So we're just going to add another application now. So if we head across to Live Manager and install the app, and I'm just going to add Ethereum. So I head back to my account next. I need to select Ethereum. Open the account on my device. and add the account. Now, if I want to send crypto across to here, I can also click onto the receive button on the left and select the crypto from the dropdown here. Then if I click on to continue, it will then show me the address, which again, I'll need to make sure exactly matches. And now that we have our accounts, once we have an active balance, we can also send funds from Ledger. And you can select from the drop down here. Enter the recipient address. Then enter in the amount and confirm on your device. And you can also swap from one cryptocurrency to another within Ledger Live. And I've got a separate tutorial for that. However, you will need to have the Exchange app installed. So if we just head across to the manager again. And then install the Exchange app. And once you've got that installed, you can then swap from one cryptocurrency to another, as long as you've got the application installed and the account installed. There's also an option to lend for lending assets on the Compound Protocol. And with Lend, you can currently get that at 17.12% APR. So next, 
let's head back to our device. And we're going to access the control center, which you can access at any time by holding down both buttons. In here, it will show you your battery percentage. You can lock your device, check out your Bluetooth name, which we're going to come back to in a moment. And you can also access general and security settings from here. And this will give you things like serial numbers, battery savers and device names. Plus you can change your pin, your passphrase and your auto lock timings from here. Then lastly, I'll show you how to connect up your ledger via Bluetooth to your phone. And this will allow you to manage your ledger on the go. And just use Bluetooth and mobile wallets at your own risk. Always ensuring that you're using the latest updates and firmware for both devices. And the first thing that you need to do is get the Ledger Live application installed onto your phone. And then accept the terms of use. Next, we need to choose the device. And for me, that's a Ledger Nano X. And I already have a recovery phrase, so I want to connect my existing Nano. We can now pair our Nano, which we're going to pair via Bluetooth. And at this point, you'll need to ensure that the Bluetooth is enabled on both devices which you can check under your settings and that your ledger is also unlocked. Then you need to validate the code on both devices, ensuring that they both match. And when you're happy, you can then pair. And when the pairing is successful, you can then continue. And just make sure that once you've got Ledger Live up and running, you set up a passcode for your app, as this will be different from the one on your device. And you can then download apps from here. You can set up new accounts and transfer and manage from your device. So that completes how you can set up your Ledger Nano X. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.